Today I'm going to show you how to remove the 12 volt battery on the Tesla Model S. First thing you're going to want to do, pull this shield right here, and we'll work your way around or around the clips. You're going to want to remove, rotate this. Now we'll take these panels, lift up, reach around the edges, pull it past the grommet. When you put it back in, it's just as simple as lining it up with the grommet and you push down and pull the ears up around the grommet. Just like that, back off. Now we're gonna take this panel, pull this up and out. Now we're gonna take this nose piece right down here. You have to be careful, it can crack in the middle. You're gonna work it around with your fingers carefully lifting it so it does not crack right here. It can crack down this spot. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, there are gonna be some clips. Right on the edges, there's a clip right here. So this clip right here, you're gonna carefully pull and pull up. Be careful, if you pull too hard outward, it will crack. Pull out this way and up just enough so it clears this. Also be careful about doing this in too cold weather. Those, the plastic can get brittle. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Pull it. There we go. Now we can get the three clips. And hold this one, I'm gonna use a clip tool. You can use a flathead screwdriver. Working underneath there, underneath there, pull the clip up. Like that. I'm gonna pull this up. And there's, you'll notice there are two hoses. There's gonna be one on this side. Very carefully, I'm gonna twist this. And get this to release. Remember to put those hoses back in because a lot of people forget that. There's gonna be one smaller drain hose right here on this side. We're gonna take this one. Also be careful because these are easy to uh, break the nipples off. So I'm just twisting it, pull it off. We're going to pull the nice fuzzy liner. And behind here is going to be two connectors. This connector, this little tab, you're going to push down, pull it. This one right here, you don't, there's no tab, you just pull this clip out. Now remove the fuzzy liner. Now, there's going to be a rubber grommet right here. Now, you don't want to pull this up with that in there. So you want to push that in and push the wires through so that the wires don't get caught on anything. Take this air vent right here. Just pull this off. Notice the way that I pull it out. There's going to be two 10 millimeter bolts right here. And then these two on the side. Sometimes if people use the wrong size bolts, they get caught on the edges. All the rest of these bolts here are to hold the filter in place. You don't have to do any of, that, any of those extra steps. There's two last clips right on the front of here. You know, put our tool below it or our flathead. And we'll get this one right here. Remove that clip. Now we can remove the front trunk. Now with the front trunk out, all you have to do, if you are going to Replace this 12 volt battery. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, shut the high voltage down so that it doesn't keep getting fed power. It's gonna be exactly the same procedure to shut the car down as it is to turn it back on. You're gonna see there's a little tab right here. You're gonna push down on the tab and pull. That's the tab right there. Once this is disconnected, you'll hear the click. That's the contactors, the high voltage turning off. You can take this battery and loosen it and you can take your studs off 
Start with the negative first, because if you go and sh touch anything, you're not gonna short anything. Then you could go ahead, pull this one right here off, and go ahead, take your 10 millimeter, loosen that nut, then go ahead and remove this post. Then all you've got left is this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt, and those are all 10 millimeters. This bracket right here will come off, and you'll be able to replace that 12 volt battery. Uh, this little harness is um, an aftermarket thing that this owner has uh, put on this car. So hopefully this was uh, helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. Hope you enjoy fixing your Tesla and have a great day. Thank you.